Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We are in one of my favorite places in the world. This is an outlet close to San Francisco and we're gonna go and shop around and ask how to pronounce brand names correctly. So if you're interested, please continue watching this video. Back to San Francisco. Our minds may change. Okay, so they didn't want to take part in my vlog, but <laughs> they told me that the correct way to pronounce this brand's name is Tommy Hilfiger, just the way I pronounce it. And you should know that this brand is actively promoting itself on social media. They gave a lot of outfits to Lewis Hamilton and a famous model, Gigi Hadid, and you can see them all over Instagram. So I bought myself a sweatshirt just to be in the trend. Tommy Hilfiger? When I was a child, I used to play the game called Crazy Taxi on my PC. And there was this task where you had to take the girl to the original Levi's store. And that took part in San Francisco. So now I remember that it's Levi's, but some people tell me that it's actually Levis. So we're gonna go in and try to find out. How do you pronounce Levi's correctly? You said it, it was Levi's. Levi's? Yeah, so Levi's. it's not Levis? No, it's Levi's. Because somebody tells me like the correct way would be Levis because it's a... Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, Levi's. Sorry. Levi's is the right way. Levi's Thank you so much. Right okay, no. cool. Thank you. Levi Strauss. <laughs> People keep pushing me out of the shops. I try to ask them, I try to create good content and they're like, go away from here. But this is one of the stores, again, um, I would say Converse. I've never had their shoes and I know they're really popular. So again, we're gonna try and go in and ask them what's the right way to pronounce Converse. What is the right way to pronounce the brand name? Uh, for Converse? Yeah, Converse. 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 It's a little weird because everyone pronounces it's not it. It's Converse, not Converse. It's Converse, yeah. So it's Converse. more of an emphasis on the, the C O one. Oh, the C O one and the last part of it. So it's uh, Converse. Converse. Okay, wow. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, no problem. Thanks a lot. Converse. Thank Converse. This is, by the way, my favorite store. They didn't kick me out. Oh my god. Love Converse. Thank you. Repetition is key when you learn a new language. I've already done a video on brand names and Nike was there, but I just wanted to remind you guys that this is not Nike, it's Nike, and this is the way they decided to pronounce this brand. And we're gonna go in the shop and ask them once again, maybe there is another version, but I'm sure it's Nike. Let's go. Is it Nike or Nike? Nike, that's yeah. the right way. Yeah. Okay. Nike. Remember, once again, Nike. They killed each other for Nike? One of the brands that came from France, I guess, because of the name, I think it's Clorons. <laughs> but French people always laugh at me when I pronounce their words. Uh, but again, let's go in and check and ask what's the right way. I don't see any salespeople there. Well, let's see. What is the right way to pronounce the brand name? Clarence. Clarence? Clarence. Is it not French? It's French, but it's still Clarence. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Clarence. Uh, so, I wasn't right. I thought it was French and you should say Clarence, but Clarence. Okay, we're in, we're in America. Maybe in France they do it in a different way. But because we're in the States and you want to be understood in the States, I'm teaching you American English, I'm not teaching you like French English or something. So if you want to be local in the States, say Clarence. Makeup. Clarence. I once babysat a dog and its name was Diesel. So I know how to pronounce this brand. It's Diesel. Super easy, very famous. I don't even have to go in because I'm a pro at this brand. Looks like a Diesel. because it's Wednesday today, we don't see a line of people like a few kilometers away lining up to get some Coach because Coach is a traditional American brand and a lot of tourists who come to the United States want to get something from here and they do a lot of outlet stores so you can get awesome discounts 
The word couch itself is very tricky because you can pronounce it as couch, which means like a sofa, and you can also pronounce it as coach, which means like a trainer, somebody who trains you. So I'm not sure about the brand name. I guess it's coach, so we're gonna find out. Yeah, is it coach or coach? Coach, coach. Okay, so I was correct. Coach. Guys, I am so stupid. <laughs> I just realized that if you want to say couch, like a sofa in American English, you should spell it with you. It's couch, couch. And this brand name is Coach. And it's like a carriage with the horses. It's even on their brand. They're, they have this picture. So it's coach. I think this guy has created the most popular budget bags in the world, budget purses. Uh, they cost around like 100, 200. They're not luxury, but they're not like super cheap. And everybody wants to have them. This guy is American, so his name is Michael Kors. He's not Michelle or whatever, he's Michael Kors. An RSVP, yes, the Michael Kors. Zadig and Voltaire. French guys, remember. Zadig and Voltaire. The shoes that saved me from cold, cold Russian winter are called Uggs. <laughs> Ugg. <laughs> so funny. Ugg. <laughs> They're Uggs. This is where I'm a pro. At Menegil de Zegna. Because I've learned Italian for almost a year. And guess what I've learned? All of the brand names. At Menegil de Zegna. I think I pronounce it even better than the guys who work there. Versace. <laughs> this is an Italian brand. Versace. Beautiful. They shot Versace. PCVG Mazzazria. This is the first time I'm pronouncing that in my life. I've encountered this name like hundreds of times, but I wasn't brave enough to pronounce it. PCVG Mazzazria. I would say, guys, if you're thinking of starting a company and thinking of a name for it, Ah, this is not the best example. Perla? Perla. Yeah. Is it American? It's Italian. Italian? Yeah. Okay, so in Italy, like, it's Perla. 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 Yeah. Perla. American. Perla. Italian. Furla. This is another brand that I was afraid to pronounce uh, before I asked them. So it's L'Occitan. Just want to make sure. Excuse me, is it L'Occitan? L'Occitan. We're in America. L'Occitan. I think in French it would still be L'Occitan. If you're French, please comment down below. But in America, L'Occitan. <laughs> come to America you have to come here. These two shops are together. Hollister and Abercrombie and Fish. They have the nicest perfume. I just tested it. Oh my gosh, so cool. And they have the softest clothes. So this is a must like when you come to America, Coach, Abercrombie and Hollister. Very American and something they I think they don't sell it in Europe, but I'm not sure because they haven't left America for a year already. Let me know if they sell this in your country. Uh, but definitely a must in the States. Just because you've watched this video, it doesn't mean you're gonna be proficient and you're like, oh, I know everything now because Marina told me. What you have to do now is to come here or to any English speaking country and practice. What I do when I travel, I find an outlet close to the city where I'm in and shop, shop, shop. You can come here for the whole day and start in the morning and shop for the whole day practicing your English. For example, if you travel to San Francisco, this would be the closest outlet. One of my favorite outlets is close to New York because they have Victoria's Secret outlet. Uh, there is a big one in Los Angeles. And if you want to travel to Europe, I would highly recommend London. For example, our UIC school in London is really good. And then you can take a train to Oxford and the outlet mall is called 
Vista Village, my favorite ever. I bought my Gucci scarf for like $100 there. So you can also take a course at UIC Oxford, for example. So my task to you is to book a trip, come to an English speaking country, practice and shop till you drop and come back home with new English and new clothes. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this content, please click like, subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't watched my previous video on brands, the link will be below. See you soon. Bye guys.